Hi and welcome on Flyfish Fly Dying. Today I would like to show you a nice gray mullet streamer, so which you can um, use in salt water as well in fresh water for pike, for example. So, but it's a big fish pattern. Yeah, you you see the wonderful small fish imitations. So I use as a hook a Tiemco TMC 600 SP in size three zero. And as a thread, a Vivus EO2 size 8 in white. That's a pretty slim um, thread, so don't worry. And you will see me breaking the thread here while tying the fly. Anyway, make your firm ground windings. And then we start the fly with some dubbing. So which in this case is iced up minnow belly because it has this long fibers I really like and the fleshy effect. So just spin it around with your thumb and your index finger around the thread. So if you wax the thread before, probably it goes a little better. Anyway, I prefer to tighten pretty loose. Yep probably walk up to the tip of the hook and then I use this Nyad so, so um, snow runner rabbit fur which is very nice and gray cut off a small bunch of fibers and um, what I then do is that I brush out the smaller fibers with my velcro brush so this velcro brush is self-made so it's just some velcro glued on a wooden stick so you can use an ice stick for example tie it in um, pretty firm and then what you see me doing while with my thumb and index finger of the right hand is just make sure that it um, the fibers goes equally on both sides so then take the same snow runner fur in white and use it as a belly for the flies. So here I use probably a little too much material, but uh, yeah, so make sure your fly has not too much material at all so that you can cast it even if it's a little more windy, etc. Yeah, make sure that um, it stands equally amount of uh, hair left and right of the hook shank tight and firm then cut off the rest of the material and then you give it another layer of the iced up minnow belly so you see me doing the steps four times here or probably three this fourth time is a little different so just give it a little layer of this ice dab. So you see, this gives us a little, let's say, glimmer in between, if that's in between the fur, if, if this is in the water. Yeah, make sure that um, your back is, oh, you now you see me breaking the thread, so too much pull. So I'm thinking of replacing it with the heckle plier, but anyway, so it's tight enough. So just tie another round, fix the thread, and then you can continue. So this happens, um, I don't know how often it happens to me, but often enough every time I go angry, but so don't let yourself go at perfect. So better is always what you're shooting for. Yeah, give it another belly layer. Make sure it sits equally around the hook shank. Be careful not to um, hit your, the hook tip with your fingers so that's hurting and bleeding so I did that too several times but be a little careful the hooks today are very sharp <clears throat> so now I give on the back a um, little flesh so I take this because it's very long fibers double it and then cut it off and it's and then I pull out some strengths which you we're supposed to see here, but so the camera is not good enough. Tied in, 
cut it off. So I really like um, the little shine of the flesh within the fur. This is what it gives to you here. Um, give it another round of the ice up. Another gray bag. Then another white belly. And I really like that fur. So you can use craft fur as well here, but so I like the natural materials, especially for fresh water and salt water. They sometimes tend to keep a lot of salt if they dry, but you can brush them off, comp them off with a comp. Just make sure they dry and then you, I normally clean after salt water fishing, I clean my flies in fresh water and then I let them dry and brush them a little bit. So that's what you can do here. Give it another layer of flesh. Yeah, and now, now you really see me um, tying in those two long grizzly hackles. So make sure they equal on both sides and then try to bring them in a line so where the gray and the white hits. So this is just to give the fly some contrast so fishes really like that but make sure they have both um, the right lengths and equal each other on both sides. So the second side I think is always for me it's a more tricky one. Um, but uh, so if you do that for two or three flies I think you will have your way that it goes in the right um, way. Yeah, then I tie the material differently. So I use the tips of the um, fur going to the eye of the hook and further. So you will see why, because I want to give that fly, a, let's say, shiny, bigger um, texture. Do the same for the white material. Be careful not to cut off your belly material when you remove the overlapping fur. So then tie in some more of the dubbing. Yeah, so just spin it around and you do not need to use a dubbing loop or you can but so I prefer it that way. So now you need to give it some windings um, in front of the hair. So I try to move it backwards. So, but once you have given them enough, so it stands back anyway. So now you see it keeps the position and you see that it gives it a little bushy flavor but uh, you will, in the water, that eliminates a little. And then even if you tie in or if you glue in the ice, so you will see that uh, gives a perfect shape. Make your whip finish. One, I do two here because I have that uh, thin thread. So then I use some um, self-gluing adhesive ice. So in one centimeter, 10 millimeters, um, those are big eyes. Place them right where you're right that they probably still little two, three millimeters behind the eye of the hook. So one side and then the other. Make sure they equal on both sides. So yeah, and then you will see me using some UV glue here, which in this case is uh, the Solaris in thin. So I like the thin glue here because it uh, goes a little bit into the fur. I hold both eyes and then there's a middle um, layer which is open and pull back the gray material here a little bit and then um, yeah, give it some material, let it drain into the hair and then cure it with your UV light. 
as you see me doing here. You do not want to pull it back too strong because this uh, gives the fly not the shape I want to have. Do the same on the on the belly side. Yeah, you see I'm not satisfied on how the hair sits there and equals to both sides. So here you can see pretty well what I'm doing. So in the middle between the eyes, give it some glue, let it drain into the um, fur and then um, cure it. And then you give it another layer of UV resin um, after that. So just uh, I cut off this fiber, which is uh, still in, the, in my way and it's still there. So I will <laughs> remove it later. So give it an, a second layer and now make sure that you form some kind of a head shape. Rotate your vise a little bit if you have a rotating vise and then cure it with the UV light and then go to the belly side again and um, yeah, do the same. And once you have done that and it's cured, um, you will really um, have a very nice looking fly. And um, yes, you're ready. So that's a very easy fly, which I think looks pretty great. So I like it and um, I can tell you it's deadly for big fish. So I can imagine if you uh, have mullet, mullet in the water, so they, they will love that kind of fly. Yeah, so have fun tying it. And if you like my video, give me a like, or if you dislike it, give me a comment and a dislike. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.